So I decided that basically as of yesterday, I was going to start becoming a makeup influencer, an unpaid makeup influencer that isn't going to be paid by any brand because I have my own brand. So I'm going to start off by reviewing the mascara that I did kind of trash the other day, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I remember absolutely hating this mascara um, when I worked at Ulta. So I have some here and we're gonna give it another chance. I don't know, maybe things have changed. We're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna take a look at it here. Um, basically the front just says that, um, you know, before and then after three coats. Um, so that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to do three coats of it. I don't feel like I've ever done three coats of mascara, um, but I'm gonna do it today. So it says 97% so this mascara creates a full slash effect, 100% sell dramatic volume, 100% sell longer lashes, and 93% sell base to tip curl. Our hourglass shape brush was designed after discovering the bust waist tip ratio of an iconic silver screen blonde bombshell held the secret to the perfect brush silhouette that separates coats and curls each lash to voluptuous perfection. The award-winning formula creates lashes that are full, defined, and stretched to unbelievable lengths for intense black oversized multi-dimensional lashes. All right, um, I'm gonna look it up and see if there's any specific ways that you're supposed to apply it. So give me one second. Okay, so I have both the waterproof version here and the normal one. I did watch a video because I didn't see too much about it on the website. Basically, it says on the first coat to go, they kind of have the model looking downwards, of course, um, applying it base to tip. And it says at the tip of it, kind of do like a little bit of like a, a pushing upwards motion. Then on the second one, go base to tip, just pulling through. The kicker, it says, is on the third coat. That is when you're going to bring it all over the length of the lash and then also go on the other side of the lash as well. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that. I am going to do the normal one. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do the normal one on this side. I'm gonna do the waterproof one on this side. So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so let's get it on in here. Make sure it's all good and on the brush. We pull it out. Okay, so course I'm going to look down and it said to bring it from base to tip and kind of press in at the tip so we are going to do that here okay so that is with one coat on there I will tell you guys um, I feel like I am pretty blessed with my lashes I don't know if you can see them but they are pretty um they're pretty long. I'll go back in and do a second coat and I'll come back for you guys. Okay, I am back. We are going to go in and we are going to do the second coat on this eye. So again, this one said to just go ahead and bring it all the way through the length. From base to tip. And I do feel like it is starting to kind of clump up on me. But that is with two coats right here. And I'll come back for you guys and we'll do the third coat. We are going to go ahead and do the third coat of this. Um, I gave it just a little quick second in between. That way it wasn't just instantly wet on wet. All right, and this one, the special thing about this one, it says we are going to go ahead and again, run it through the length. But the kicker this time is that we are actually going to go the other way as well. And we are just going to kind of roll it upwards. Oh, that got clumpy so fast. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, so from far away, um, I'm sure they probably look pretty good. Um, I'm going to blame all the excess above on my shaky hands, um, but I just want us to come in a little closer. So I have come in here on my back camera, um, just so you can kind of see, trying to give you a good look here. Um, so they instantly got very leggy, very clumpy. Um, when you go through and do that on the back there. So I feel like definitely, um, I don't know if I would do that um, when you're applying it. I think I would probably just kind of stick to normally unless you like it clumpy or you're going to run through a full lash separator. Um, I personally 
I'm not doing that. Um, so I would just not do that. Um, I'm going to not do that on the waterproof side and um, we'll see what it starts looking like. Okay, I am back here to do the waterproof side. Um, again, I don't feel like this did anything great that like my normal mascara doesn't do. I feel like I'm pretty blessed with my lashes. Um, I like them, they look like this normally. I don't feel like the three coats did a whole lot with it, I really don't. Um, but let's go in and let's do the waterproof side the same way, except I'm not going to go over the top. I'm just not gonna do it. So let's go in with this first coat here. Again, base to tip, pressing up when you get to the top. I do notice, I feel like this formula is drier than the other one. Um, I could be wrong, but it's also feeling a little bit flakier and harder to coat. Um, but there is one layer here. I feel like we're already not too far off from this one, but I feel like this one is having a harder time coming up off the brush. We're gonna go back in here with a second coat. This one is definitely so much clumpier and flakier. Like it is not going on smooth, like at all. I don't know it's just like not it's even like clumpy on the end like I said maybe maybe I just like got a bad one or something I I genuinely don't know let's go ahead and go back in and do this last and final layer just bringing it through the entire length This is the worst thing I've ever, this, this is so bad. I hate this so much. My eye feels like it is heavy. It feels like it is weighted down. Um, let me again just flip. Okay, do you, do you see this? Do you see it? I feel like it is physically heavy, like it is, the waterproof one is very clumpy, it is very heavy, it is very flaky. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't like it. So um we aren't we aren't stopping it right there. We aren't just calling it right there. Um I am going to I'm going to wear it. Um you can see how much heavier it is. You can see like my lashes are literally like going like down and outwards rather than like upwards which it's fine i feel like if you look at my face this one helps my eyes be less round and it's kind of flared out i do like it um in terms of how it did my eye shape but um yeah we're not done here um so i'm just gonna go ahead and wear this for the rest of the night again we have the normal one over here and we have the waterproof one over here on this side so Let's check back in because I got a lot of stuff to upload to the website tonight and I have to prep for restocks. I'm going to be running around here like crazy and we'll see how it lasts. Also, I fully know that my brows need need waxed and trimmed insanely bad, so we're not going to talk about that. Um, we're just here strictly for eyelashes, okay? It's officially 11 30 um it's literally only been about like three hours but i am already just over it it's been like flaking off all night i'm tired um my disclaimer as always is different products work for different people um you know i might say that i hate something that might be your holy grail product um and that's just how it works sometimes i might like something that you absolutely hate um that could always happen as well but as for this one Two Face Better Than Sex Mascara is always a no for me. <laughs>